Hello people and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Okay guys, got a post here from the HBAR Bull and I thought I'd share it with you because um, I think this is really great that he's done this to be honest with you. It shows integrity and it shows transparency. Um, and so look, if you guys don't know HBAR Bull, I'm sure you do if you're a HBAR holder. He's a, a very uh, integral part of the HBAR community. Um, he actually has a contract with, with Adira. He's a contractor to them. He does a lot of uh, content for HBAR and uh you know what's going on with a lot of the companies who are developing on Hedera etc <laughs> so he's a pretty big name already but yes um he's dropped a, a a post here and i think this is just off of the back of the whole controversy with blackrock which led to obviously a lot of information coming out about the hbar foundation shane higdon the pay compensation that kind of thing i think it's opened up a real can of worms and um hbar boss decided to do you know really thoughtful post on this now don't get me wrong i will say this he has addressed this previously um, already in a video as well. So I don't want to make out like he's left it until now to do this. He had already recently spoke on it. And, you know, he's really transparent. He actually told us how much in dollars he'd spent on HBAR, how much he had invested in dollars. And he also told us how much he was getting paid by Hadira to do content for them. So, you know, he was really honest. And um, once again, he, you know, he's shown his integrity here. So really respect that from the HBAR ball. And he actually said in his, in his post, like he actually told the HBAR foundation, look, I'm going to do a post and it's going to be critical. You know, it's not going to be a thing where I'm just going to be sugarcoating it. I'm going to tell you like my honest thoughts about this. He said, look, if, if you're not really happy, you don't like the fact that I'm going to do this, I, I'm happy to give you my resignation and I'm no longer do content for you guys because, you know, I, I want to put this out. I want to be honest and the HBAR Foundation have said no that that's fine that's fair enough which I think is a good thing because in all honesty you've got to be able to take criticism right like it's not good if it's a thing of hey like no you can only post positive things about us no like you've got to be able to self-reflect as a company and say okay maybe we've messed up here maybe this is time for us to listen to some of the community listen to some of the you know bigger influencers and see what they think and maybe we can take some of this on board and you know try and try and do something to help gain community trust back so i respect the fact that they wasn't willing to um sack him over this like make him resign or anything like that but let's just get into the general gist of what he's saying here so i'm not going to read the whole post because it is quite a long post but there's a part at the end where he just breaks everything down about what he's looking for here so um, he spot as mentioned, there is a place to incentivize employees with HBAR, but I would make it milestone dependent and standardize across organizations. Success should only be measured with two metrics. First, unsubsidized revenue as a measure of the ecosystem sustainability. For example, 50 or $100 million in unsubsidized annual revenue and full revenue sustainability. The second should be coin market cap rank as a proxy for our relative performance against competitors and representing the capital available to the ecosystem. No other metrics are necessary. We'll lay out five milestones. So $50 million in unsubsidized revenue, network revenue sustainability, top 20 on coin market cap list, top 10 on coin market cap list, and top five on coin market cap list. And it finishes off to say, most would agree this is what success looks like. That said, employees should enjoy the interim upside, so five accounts could be dedicated to each employee. For each employee, HBAR could be marked to market and deposited into each of these five accounts commensurate with a percentage of their salary. Those accounts stay locked until the milestone is reached, or the employee leaves the organisation. This bonus slash incentive structure would align with the interests of all in the ecosystem. I cannot say how much I appreciate the hard work employees put in at these organizations day in and day out. They have provided an amazing platform with tremendous potential. I also appreciate the work of our builders and enjoy their products daily. Finally, we should all thank those that work hard in other industries and dedicate capital to our ecosystem by buying HBAR, HTS tokens, or investing in the ecosystem builders. All your efforts are valuable and the vision for Hedera cannot be achieved without your sacrifice. Okay. Um, overall, I think that's really good, you know, and one thing he did say, I just didn't want to read too much because I already felt like I read quite a lot there. He said like, you know, it could be a thing where, you know, in terms of how the pay packets has turned out, they didn't realize like how far it had gone and they didn't have anything to measure it by because they're in the crypto industry. 
Okay, fair enough. I mean, one thing you could say is the HBAR Foundation is kind of like non-for-profit, so you could just run it like you would run like a charity, for example, that kind of thing. But this is one thing that I did see before when when the uh, HBAR Foundation addressed this. It was a bit weird because it was like they were talking about both sides of their mouth, but they said like, oh, we are not for profit, but then we do kind of run in for profit ways. So it's kind of like, yeah, we, we're not for profit, but we kind of are for profit as well. It was It was really bizarre the way they answered it. And it just seemed to me like, they didn't have a real rational explanation. So they were just clutching at straws to try and explain it. That's, that's the way it come across. But anyway, uh, what do I think about this? Um, overall, in terms of the milestones, I do agree. Um, the one thing I will say about coin market cap, like getting in coin market cap, um, the, the only problem I have with that is like with those kinds of achievements, that's good. But with coin market cap, like it, it's difficult because like market cap is something that's so it, it to me, I've said this before, price doesn't always indicate the, the value of, of, of a network, especially right now. And a proof of that is, for example, like meme coins, right? Like you can have meme coins at the moment that have no kind of utility whatsoever. And very unlikely they'll have a future when like regulations come through. I do believe like, you know, 90, 95 to 98% of cryptos will be gone once regulations come through. Um, and so, it's it's easy right now to look at the the market cap and say, well, okay, if we go and buy that logic, you know, Pepe, you know, could be outperforming Hedera, but does that really is that a really a true reflection on Hedera when people are just basically gambling getting into Pepe? Do, do you see what I'm saying? Like, it, it doesn't really take anything away from Hedera itself as a network and what they can do. Like a lot of the content that I cover about HBAR, as you can tell, it's all positive. Like. You've got companies who are really happy with Hedera. You've got them leaving other networks that come to Hedera. You know, a lot of them say Hedera felt like the only choice for what they need to do. Like it was the only like network that they could really get done what they what they really want to do on this kind of scale. So, you know, there's a lot of things there that would reflect positively, but then you can still look at the, the market cap and think, well, you know, it's not nowhere near a certain level of success. So I guess it's one of those things where, I accept the point just because we need something as a metric to prove the point. So I, I do understand that, but I, I can also look at the other side and say, is that really fair when there's plenty of other ways that you can look at this? And, you know, you could look at other cryptos and say, oh, wow, you know, Pepe is outperforming Hedera. Like, why isn't Hedera going up? And it's like, well, this is a meme coin. You've got to understand, like, the logic of meme coins is completely different to people who are trying to make, like, sound investments, right? Like, people who are going into Pepe, they're just chasing a green candle, right? That's literally, it's just a meme. They like the look of the meme. It starts going up in price. Everybody jumps on the bandwagon, hoping they can get some price out of it, get some money. And so everybody gets involved until eventually the bubble pops and then the ride is over, right? With Hedera, we're not really just looking at that kind of thing of just hype and speculation. We're looking at what kind of industries Hedera can change and stuff like that. And, you know, it's got to be understood that these things can't really just happen overnight. It takes time for this kind of stuff to be adopted to that kind of level where you're going to see a significant impact on HBAR's price. So, uh, you know, that's where I will say I can kind of see both sides of the argument there. So I'm kind of for and against that. But I, I like the fact that he's been so transparent, like he's been really critical and open about HBAR and he's also being positive about HBAR. Like, and he's saying, you know, this is what I think um, we could do to make things more fair in the future. And, and overall, I do think just having milestones in general, even if it's not necessarily like the coin market cap metrics, yeah, I think that's a good thing because then it's not just getting these compensation packages willy nilly. Like, no, you've actually got to work towards getting them. You've got to earn it, you know, that kind of thing. And that'll give them more incentive to actually want to drive adoption for the network, right? Because then they're going to actually have to push forward and help get things going for the network to help them receive more money for themselves. So, you know, it, it, it works both ways. It's going to benefit both the company and the individual. So I do think this is definitely a good idea. I'm just not sure in terms of the, the metrics that he's using. I'm not sure if I'd agree with, you know, the coin market cap metric that that one may be need to be reviewed. It also might get to a point where, you know, like people are looking at trying to raise the price in, in, in not so good ways right like like they're just trying to do whatever they can to try and get the market cap to increase because they want to reach their bonuses and you know that can lead to problems so that's another thing that you've got to be be careful of with that kind of stuff but yeah overall fitness is a really good post by the hbar ball it, it's good to see him you know going further to uh, address this to be honest with you and you know he's a, he's a holder at the end of the day like 
I think if I remember rightly, I want to say he said he'd invested something like 150000 to $200,000 into HBAR, like crazy money. So, you know, he's got a lot at stake here. He's a holder, like, you know, but I don't know what point he got in. Um, he might be in at a point where it's so early that he's, he's still massively up at this point. I honestly don't know. But either way, as a holder, you know, I know he's someone who's very... Um, invested in the hedge buy ecosystem like he's not just doing this for money like he, he really likes the network he likes the technology and so he wants to see it succeed so i do think he's coming from a genuine place so overall i think this is a good message and i think you know i think overall what he's saying is is correct i just think we need to look at what the metrics will be so you know if you guys want to see it, it's on his actual x feed so it's at the hedge bar ball feel free to check it out and if you do read it you know like let me know what you think like do you agree with this is there any other ideas you guys have that you think you would do this you know do, do you have any other ideas of how you would maybe um try and make this work going forward in terms of like pay for the cage bar uh, foundation employees because you know i'd be interested to hear i'd like to know everybody's thoughts in regards to this because it's it is a big deal you know this has been a huge impact um on the h bar community it, like it really has put people in a bit of a divided stance and i've seen that so you know it's definitely something that we need to address Thank you very much for watching this. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Take care.